fashion. Pushy. Yeah, so when you're when one's following you like that, put that cup behind your back, covering the top. Oh. Yeah, and then just stand still. Show a empty hand like this. Down. And then and take you off the way. These two these three are rescues. Ali, Ginny, and Annabella, and Ginny, this one, she'll let you pet her. She's really sweet. Mm. And this is the mama, she's the oldest. So she's a good one to give treats to too. So see when they stop getting treats, they back away. Mm -hmm. You guys all want treats. You all want treats. Mm -hmm. There's not enough people to give you treats today. Yeah. Small one. And Venus is also really good if you can get her oh. to oh. this one again. Nightshades, you're eating way too much food. Whoa, this one's so long. That's mom and daughter. Oh. The two white ones you're feeding? No, they're mom and daughter. Yeah. This one's the mom? Yeah. The one that looks similar. Sarah. Oh. Did you see that? She used her neck. She pushed. She used her neck to push. <coughs> What's that sound mean? Those two are arguing right now. <laughs> Push to you. <laughs> She's asking for a food. Oi! That's not nice. <laughs> like no, a duck. That one wants some. That's weird. That one's Emily. Oh. 
Jika? Jika. Oh, you have like eyelashes. I, I think this is a mom and daughter again. Yeah. Well, I was trying to... Okay. Do you have food? Yeah, so pat her on her neck while she eats. Wow. It's easy if your hands flatter. Wow. Just like that. That is so fast. So Jenny, that one will let you pat oh, her. Oh, they're fighting over it. Allie and Annabella, they're both rescuers. Wow, Allie just like pushed her out. Mm -hmm. No more. No more? <laughs> So we had a lot of fun at the alpaca farm. I would definitely recommend it. There's 38 alpacas currently and they separate the male and female and you know it's just it was a really great experience feeding them and just interacting with them. They're pretty peaceful for the most part except some of the uh, male alpacas are a bit aggressive but uh, yeah we just finished spending about 45 minutes ish a bit more actually like 50 minutes ish there and then now we're going to um, try some ice cream that they sell it's actually not their brand it's um, like they support another local business and they sell goat milk ice cream so I got a wine and dark chocolate flavor and you got a spice pumpkin flavor so we're going to try that now okay you can try yours first I'm going to try my flavor wine and dark chocolate. This is what they recommended me. Okay, first bite. Mostly dark chocolate. Mm. It's good. I would say. Oh, now it's kicking in. Uh, I was going to say mine doesn't have that goat smell, but now it does. Like after you take a bite and you wait for a couple of seconds, then you get that little like goat smell in the end. But I like this more than pumpkin spice. Mm. But it's the goat really smell good. is pretty light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Compared to the pumpkin spice, mm -hmm. the goat smell is a lot lighter. Thank you. I was starving on the way and I don't think it can last it until we get back home. So we had a little pit stop to Tim Hortons. I got their classic bacon chicken ranch wrap. Fast food is always so good when you're taking a long car ride. Mm-hmm. <laughs>